Hi, welcome to Make It. I'll share with you a simple idea you can apply to make a full bridge 1000 watt inverter. The heart of the circuit is this TL494IC. You also need a couple of transistors and MOSFETs. So you need two BD139 NPN transistors and they are complementary. The BD140 PNP transistors. For the power MOSFETs, you will need IRF3205 MOSFETs. They can easily handle 100 amperes. So with 12 volts, they can output more than 1000 watts when needed. So the circuit is as shown here. For the power supply, you need a 12 volt source, preferably a leader send battery at the input and a filter capacitor. The connection for the TL494 pass with moderation IC are as shown here. So 12 and 7 are connected to VCC and crowd respectively, pin 13 to pin 14. Pin 15 and 2, the inverting terminals of the air amplifiers, they are pulled up to digital 5 volts generated by the reference pin 14. So this resistor and capacitor ear configuration, they, are, they enable of starting. Basically this allows the IC to start, a, to start at a dent time of 100%, then slowly decrease the, the dent time to 3%, which is the default of the IC, as the capacitor changes to 5 volts. So connect the feedback pin to pin 2 as shown here to stabilize the output, then ground the non inverting terminals, pin 1 and 16 as shown. So when connected at this, as this, like this, it will function as a push-pull driver circuit since pin 13 is also pulled up to 14 volts. So for the timing, you need 10 kilo ohms and 1 microfarads, which will give you an oscillation frequency of 50 hertz as shown by this frequency formula. So what will happen is that Pins 8 and 11, the open correctors will be pulled high and low in alternating fashion. The open emitters are grounded. So when pin 8 is high, this Q3 will conduct and allow current to flow from 12 volts through the what through the primary winding of the gate drive transformer and through the second and through the second transistor, which is BD140, because it's PNP, it will be on when the pin 11 will be low. So when the opposite happens, that is pin 11 is high and pin 8 is low, current will flow through the other way around because Q4 will conduct as well as Q5. So current will flow in the reverse order. So the gate drive is simply a half bridge with one primary winding and four secondaries. So the four secondaries are each connected to the gate and source of the respective MOSFETs as shown here. They are connected in such a way that Q1 and Q8 will conduct at the same time, while Q2 and Q7 will conduct also at the same time. At no point should Q1 and Q7 or Q2 and Q8 conduct at the same time because it will shut the power supply and damage your MOSFETs. So this, what will happen is when Q1 and Q8 conducts, voltage, you, voltage and current will flow from the 12 volts rail as shown here through Q1 through the primary winding of the transformer, through Q8 and to ground. When the inverse happens, that is Q2 and Q7 are on and Q1 and Q8 are off, current will flow through the other way around from VCC through Q2, through the transformer, primary winding in the opposite direction, through Q7 and to ground. So it's a full bridge inverter circuit, meaning it can output a thousand watts with ease depending on the parameters. For the transformer, I recommend you salvage one from an from a welding machine or a microwave oven that is written more than a thousand watts. Ja what you need is just to retain its primary winding, then wind your own secondary winding, which you will use as a primary in this case. Test with the number of windings until you get 240 volts AC on the secondary side. So that's all about this inverter circuit with the TL494 and the H branch made of this power MOSFETs. So please don't like. Don't forget to comment below, like this video, share and subscribe for more amazing tutorials and projects. And I'll see you in the next episode. Have a nice day.